everyone, this is Anna from Lexi B Journal. So I hope everybody's well today. It's uh, Friday afternoon and i a little bit late on doing this video, but I think the light is quite good at the moment. It was really, really sunny today, so it was very bright and I think this is just the right time. I just wanted to say before I begin that uh, I will be doing a video on papers and uh, I will show you my personal logbook at some stage either this weekend or in the beginning of next week I thought you might find that fun we're not going to do a crafting video this weekend because I'm, I'm a little bit busy with um, a few other things that I need to do but I thought uh, that would be uh, something that we could um, we could do together now this is Ophelia and I think a few of you have already seen Ophelia on my Instagram and uh, mm -hmm. she's one of my favorite definitely one of my favorite characters of um, Shakespeare oh. set in the medieval times and it, she is a character in the play um, Hamlet and she is a very tragic lady who does well I won't tell you <laughs> I won't tell you because some of you might want to to either see the film or read the play obviously the film has been altered a lot and it has just come out on Netflix and I, I actually saw it the other day so I was very inspired by the film and decided to do this journal so so I will show you the actual book so this is this is the the spine and I know a lot of you like this this type of spine so there it is it's got gold on the back it. has got quite a lot of uh, gold on the edges but it's a plain just a plain color and the front has got a bit of uh, gold gilding quite a bit on the corners on the on the sides and it's got uh, the the binding here and a bit of lace and a few things hanging out and the color is this minty uh, green uh, willow color it's really really I think it's a really really lovely color and I have repeated it again it's uh, similar to the color that I I did with uh, Emma in Emma's book I just I think this is a just a beautiful color for the summer so uh, yeah I'm, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself but I just I just love it so and I thought that it suits Ophelia because Ophelia uh, loved the green and loved the water and and you see there you you know there's this color in this image as well she just loved loved uh, nature and flowers and i think that that all the green here and and the the, the, the floral kind of look of uh, embellishment is probably suitable for, for this uh, theme so i'm just going to take you through the whole book and hopefully i won't keep you too long and uh, here we go now I've used you most of you know this 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 pa paper I have used it before it's uh, it's an Indian paper and I just love it it's handmade and it's got this beautiful gold stamping on it so I used it again <laughs> for this one just right for this theme and then I also used a plain one just sim exactly well similar to this it's Lotka paper and I use this plain one and and I gilded it so it's got this beautiful design here this gold leaf it's good it's not gold leaf sorry it's gilding and it's just this got got this gold and it has come through onto this very well I think and and there uh, we begin with Ophelia and this is this is a, a water house image from 1910 and a side pocket here I've kind of made them look a bit rougher the pockets as if they've been cut torn and added onto the journal sewn on and uh, and they have been they they've they, I've got some gold thread on it and the the thread is mint color that's minty so it suits the the cover the cover color and, and it, it, it suits the whole imagery as well so um, I like it very much uh, let me just just a tiny bit there I think that's better okay so so I've got I've, I've added some gilding inside on the paper 
in some of the pages it's just so that when you're opening it it looks like it's got it's got a you know this gold reflection on it just to, to add a little bit of life to it let's say into the paper this is a side pocket and this is an image by um from medieval mirage and i i thought it looks good on this on this book it's got the greens on it and this is a sticker and these are um these are the the ladies um the ladies and the knights and the knights are on their horses yeah and there's another corner pocket shimmer on it and uh, it it is just great combination with with the images as well i think and this one is by thomas francis dixie uh, 1830 1873 and that's all of all Ophelia images and you can see on her face is kind of quite tragic look tragic expression I've also decorated certain parts with just pieces of paper that look like they're manuscript and well they are manuscript but you know just added those and there's more gold here there's another Waterhouse Ophelia and this is uh, this was made in 1894 it was painted in 1894 and some beautiful handmade lace here and I've also done a bit of gilding onto the pages and there's another Ophelia here and that's by Joseph Kirkpatrick 1896 it's holding the flowers and running towards the water and and there's some more some more of that gilding on paper and I have attached it onto this page and there is Ophelia with her brother by William Gorman Wills 1880 her brother was very protective of her um, but she unfortunately fell in love with Hamlet and he was warning her that Hamlet was not planning on marrying her uh, because of well because of what was expected from him from his family uh, but she didn't didn't really want to listen so her brother's name is Laertes it's a Greek name there's a corner pocket here but you see you can see the way you can see the, how they're communicating with each other and uh, how he's sort of trying to convince her to persuade her this is a, just a little folder that opens up and there's lots of space for lots of space for for notes there's a bit more of that gold gilding here and there's another page with Ophelia and this one is a woolen by Woolmer 1840 you see how the gold shimmers here I haven't done this before. I think it's the first time I'm using so much gold inside, but I think it's nice. There's a corner pocket here, again, sort of hand torn with some gold gilding on it, on the edges. And this is a uh, assemblage, and it will it just goes inside as a bookmark with some different different elements on it. And way it fa in fact it's better if it goes it's better if it goes in between a signature um, when kept and you know when when not used as a bookmark because it keeps the signature there it's it's where the signature is separated so it doesn't affect the the actual book inside doesn't stretch it some more gold here and this one is by Dante Gabriel Rossetti and you can tell it's Dante Gabriel Rossetti very very typical kind of image and there's another um, torn part torn pocket here the side pocket they're quite big the side pockets here uh, there you can tell this is just got this kind of um, confusion or madness in her eyes and that's how she is depicted uh, Ophelia and that one is a water house image as well and here is a pocket with a crown and I I put it all further up because it's a crown and I've added some medieval little medieval tags there 
This is just another little bit of decoration here. And this one is another water house image, Ophelia 1853, made in 1853. And there's another pocket and some gilding. This is a tag and um, with a bit of gold on the edge. And there's quite a lot of gold on this page. There's another piece of lace with a bead which is citrine and I'm running out of my citrine beads so I need to get some more but there's a shop that is closed now and oh, I can order them online but it's always nice to go into the shop in Covent Garden and get the little beads but not at the moment and this is a Rackham image and painted in Ophelia which is interesting and uh, he as he's as you know I have used a lot of images by Rackham he's one of my favorite artists and he has his own way of doing them and you know, very typical he's got red there which is kind of a big contrast in the rest in the rest of the colors there and this is another side pocket quite a big one as well with a lot of blue this is uh, another Ophelia here uh, by Annie Oven okay and another side pocket here and a little piece of a piece of paper here that is you know, one can write a note on. It's very medieval looking, and this is by Medieval Mirage. And I've added this as well on it, Medieval Mirage, and some music paper. Printed it out because I thought it matches this this theme beautifully, and quite a bit of gold again here and there. And this medieval mirage again. And this is another Dante Gabriel Rossetti image. And this is Ophelia. Uh, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's Hamlet with her. So this is from a book that I have, which is it's a quite an old book, very old book. And beautiful illustrations here. And what I did was I, I, I detached the uh, the play, Amlet, and it actually isn't the play, it is, it is more of a, like an, a summary of the play. So whoever has this book can also read it and, and have, have it all in there. It tells the story of Amlet, Prince of Denmark, and, and of course the tragic, the tragic um, Ophelia. And I have um, I have attached um, these images here that make it look a little bit uh, 3D, three dimensional, and and I think they they look they look nice on this page on these pages. Just a little just a little addition to the whole imagery. And um, there, that's it. Now I have an envelope here with a little note card, which is also a medieval mirage down, uh, from download, her, their downloads, her downloads. And I, I added that here in the end um, and some gold gilding. So this is a water house image, 1889. And here's another corner pocket with some some uh, note cards and they've got lots of gold on, on their edges, which I've added. <laughs> Quite a lot of gold in this book, but I think the gold goes well with the green and the whole story, kind of the blending in of the whole story. There's Ophelia again. And actually, this is the one that is Waterhouse. The other one is Joseph Kilpatrick, if I'm not mistaken. Some more of this paper, handmade paper. This is another sticker that I have. And, well, I made it. I made these stickers. I took some images that I really liked and I created these stickers. And there's Ophelia and that look on her eyes and her face is interesting. And that's by Pierre Auguste, 1870. And it's called, it's named Pause for Thought. But she's, she's definitely got some thought, some, some thought in her, something in her mind. There's the corner pocket here as well. Yes, it's a little. Designs here, they kind of, 
create a frame onto this image. And there I have created just a, another kind of um, assemblage of different images onto the page. And I have some some stamps here from Sweden and uh, they look they look just they look just right for this type of journal. They're medieval medieval style stamps. They're, they're real stamps, but in fact they arrived in a letter for uh, my husband the other day. Um, there's another Ophelia image here and this is like I've created this this little frame here and there's a dragon and it's made with this paper and there's the image here it's an it's a, a painting by uh, Arthur Hughes and there's some more of this paper um, I like this one this this just I just found this image again in my in my own sort of, uh, records and I love using it I've used it before and here is another one and this if I'm not mistaken is a Francis MacDonald and some more decoration onto the page and just a few again I've added a few images on the pages this is a very thin paper which is attached there's a side pocket here and this one is another water house beautiful water personage well, one of my favorite ones obviously because it's a lady and a knight but i love it and this is a graphics fairy a graphics fairy uh, drawing and i love that one and it, it it is in the middle i printed it in such a way so that it is in the middle of the page so that one can use it for notes here and sections it's it's really pretty there's another pocket here a green green leaf and there's a castle and these are just this is this is a side pocket and this this is just a a design on that I attached onto the page just a little bit of an extra um, something to attract one's attention and there's a another uh, Ophelia and she is by Frederick Willem Theodore Hayser and it was painted between 1857 and 1921 they're all the same sort of time period and this is just uh, just beautiful the way she's lying on to the in the water there's castle here inside pocket and another pocket here a bit of gold on the edges there's another sticker of mine oh well a sticker that i created and this one is by thomas francis dixie 1864 and there's another one and it's kind of unfortunately i tried printing it a few times and it in all the different ways I tried it's quite dark so but you can clearly see the, her face here and there are the other maidens like talking between each other and she does look very disturbed or upset by them and this is by Henrietta Ray 1890 and what I love about this image is that the way the first of all the, the, her dress is just stunning but the way she the way she is stretching her arm towards them maybe asking for their friendship but how they are denying it from her and she's got her she's got petals on her dress and she's holding it in such a way so obviously to hold it so the petals fall out and uh, yeah and then I've added this again here on the side on the edge gold leaf on the pages this is dream pocket and another pocket here on the side they're all quite big the pockets and one can put a little clip here and keep them closed and, and to safeguard to safeguard um, your notes notes and and anything else um, this one is by George Russin Russin and it's Ophelia and again she's a smiley very very um, sweet happy person and she's got flowers in her hair she loves flowers 
and uh, but there's always this kind of tragic look about her there's another side pocket and a little bit uh, card here for journaling or drawing or whatever and finally well this is the end and bookmark here little bookmark here and this is it so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you loved Ophelia because I loved it I loved making her I loved making this journal creating it was it um, it was a labor of love <laughs> which all, all my journals are but Ophelia is very special so she will be up on Etsy on Sunday this Sunday 8 p.m. UK time and uh, she will come with her cover where she can be kept safely. So, so there's Ophelia. Thank you so much for watching today, and uh, we will be we will be talking very soon with uh, what I said in the beginning, in the start of this video. Another another chat about paper and and in my own personal kind of logbook that I use or commonplace I, I call it logbook I quite like the word logbook and um, you know the, the, I've shown you before my d different tools I have and this one is something I've um, I've created more recently and uh, I find it very very useful I, I kind of created it around my knee um, so <clears throat> have a lovely weekend it's as I said Friday evening here and we will be talking very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.